Hello everyone. So welcome back. Professor Fes here. So this time we discuss about sample size determination. How you are going to identify the number of size in any research. So we have the formula and for the sample is equal to the P times the 1 minus quantity 1 minus P times the standard score over the margin of error. Again, where P is proportion of the population that has the characteristics of interest or your prior knowledge of P or the previous study. And Z is the standard normal distribution score which corresponds to the level of confidence desired. It can be 99%, 90% or 95%. And E is the margin of error or the maximum allowable error. So we have an example. Example. A researcher wishes to estimate with 99% confidence the proportion of people who own an iPhone. A previous study shows that 40% of those interviewed had an iPhone. That is a previous study and then you're going to check this time. The researcher wishes to be accurate within 5% of true proportion. So you look for the minimum sample size necessary. So again, we have the formula P times 1 minus P multiplied by the standard score squared divided by the margin of error squared. So substitute here, where did you get this P? Since that is a prior knowledge, so we have 40% of those interviewed in the previous study. So 0.4 and then where did you get the 0.6? 1 minus 0.4 and that is 0.6 or 60% and this is 40%. Multiplied by for the 99%, 99% is equivalent to 2.58 standard score. 2.58 from the 99% squared divided by the 0 0.05 margin of error squared and then divide so you come up 639.01 since this is a whole number since the number of number of people so whole number this is must be discrete so there must be uh, 639 uh, people to interview or to are going to send a questionnaire for the 639 okay another example a researcher wishes to estimate the proportion of people who owns a car she wants to be 95 percent confident and be accurate within five percent of the true proportion find the minimum sample size so this time since there is no prior knowledge of B, so statisticians very safe to assign a proportion of 0.50%. So in this case, your P is 50%. So we have the formula and is equal to P times 1 minus P times the margin of uh, times the standard score divided by the margin of error. So we have here again this is from there is no prior knowledge given, so we can assign to very safe to have 50% proportion and 50% 1 minus P. And then equivalent to 95% is 1.96 uh, standard score. And then the margin of error is 0 0.05 squared. So the sample size, you need 384.16 or there must be 384 number of respondents or sample size okay that's all for this video how you we hope that you found this video helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on